had a chance to go by the Mitchell's house and bless their beautiful home. Amen. I see the Moors here. Welcome back. Your wife is such an agitator. She is love messing with folks. Amen. Now, whoo! Beautiful picture. Isn't it beautiful to have a family? Amen. Amen. See, Dre, if she was a heifer girl, your family would say, where'd you get her from? <laughs> Take her back. Amen. So we're still talking about the uh, three-punch combination. That works so well that Satan doesn't have to get another one. Okay? Let's look at it. Get First John, not St. John. First John, head to the back of your Bible. If you don't have a First John, take your Bible back. Mmm, old people. Mmm. 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 So, first John, let's look at all that's in the world. First John, everybody have it? First John, chapter 2. So, we have. St. John, then we have 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John, and Revelation. Now don't get on Google and they're arguing about which John is what. You just stick in your Bible. Not the folks I get deep and get all confused and start seeing aliens and things. Man, you know. Eat your Captain Crunch and listen. 1st John chapter 2. We're going to explain some of this because... Uh, Folk will call anything they can't afford worldly. So if they can't get their hair professionally done, then those stuff laid with the baby head sitting down is worldly to them, all right? So we got to straighten all that out. Okay? Verse 15 says what? Love. Not the world. Love not the world. That don't mean you go in a corner, put some sheets on you, and put a rope around you. Amen. <laughs> love not the world. When we talk about love not the world, talk about the world system. The world system. Why don't you have a job? I love not the world. You better get your lazy behind up and get in floor. <laughs> the world system. What is the world system? Stepping on folk, get where you're trying to go. Lying, cheating, whatever. Uh, progressing or ascending at all costs. Never using the menorah, your mouth, the center to express gratitude. That's the world system, being ungrateful. Amen. The world system. Stepping on people. Look at Jeffrey Epstein. He used a system running through 14-year-old girls. He, didn't, he was not a millionaire. He had a billionaire lifestyle, blackmailing folk. Anybody with good sense, you know, that's a conspiracy. He had to die, folk. He had too many. He knew too much. He had a picture of Clinton on the wall and a dress on that he found. Some artist painted. He put on his wall. His home was so big, it used to be a school. He, the island across the, the, the way, he bought it. He had planes, I think, at almost every home. That's not a millionaire, folks. You got you to, uh, there's an article in Vanity Fair, it talks about, what is Vanity Fair? Private jets, that's strictly a billionaire lifestyle. And look where he got in. He's dead as a door knob. Okay? The system, using people, stepping on people. Love not that system. Okay? Where your soul becomes secondary. Amen. Uh, Bishop Jake said, can you afford to be blessed? Uh, can you afford a nice car? Can you afford a uh, McLaren? Can you afford a nice home? Amen. With square footage. Can you afford money in the bank? Huh? Can you afford to have a check that don't bounce? 
Can you afford that without getting beside yourself? Amen. Love not the world system. Read. Neither the things that are in the world. Say the things in the world ain't you having your hair done or a couch to sit on. It's the things in the world that you get from the world system. Put this in your mind. You can have things, but things can't have you. Amen. Your house can't be so fabulous that you can't come to church. Amen. Period. And your clothes, well, you can't. Okay? It's funny because, uh, let's talk about the black church. Black church is the cheapest country club folk can go to. Some people only go to their church so they can see what everybody has on. Or their mass choir. No, I see. You'd be better off at the club with a short skirt on. Going to the same place. Amen. Huh? Well, everybody don't have as many hoodies as you. Well, go buy some. Anyway, <laughs> man, I've been collecting for 40 years. Of any man love the world system, it says world, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay? The system. So, so uh, when Satan tempted Jesus, he showed him the kingdom of the world. Right? Showed him, look, look at this. And I'll give you the glory. And how did Jesus fight? With scripture. Not emotions. He didn't call nobody. What you think? Is this the Lord? <laughs> no. He came back with a word. Write this down in your mind. You're going to have to fight the world system only with a word. Nothing else matters. Uh, the word of God. Not no explana uh, explanation. Not your opinion, nothing. Only the word of God to fight what Satan will offer you. You cannot fight it with your feelings. You will lose. You will look like Martin in the ring with Tommy Hearns. You will be lumped up. All right. Amen. Uh, Martin, who is that dude that the dude ran across the ring and need him in the uh, uh huh? Yeah, how long did it take? Uh, a stay will do you in a second and a half. <laughs> Amen. And just like him, Ben did all that talking and was stretched out looking at the heavens. You have to understand that. All right? You have to come back with the word of God. For all of us in the world, verse 16, here's a three-punch combination, and then we'll go to Eve. It works so well. Okay, verse, verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. The love of the flesh. Amen. You might be sugar free, but you ain't lust free. The lust of the flesh. You can have the greatest wife in the world and still be a dog, a rockwiler on the loose. You could have the greatest husband and still be a dog. Okay. God ain't going to kill all the good looking folk in the world so you can make it. He, you shouldn't have to have cataracts and a German shepherd to make it. You should be able to have 20 20 vision and be able to watch that cataract. You should be able to have, you should have cloudy. Now I, I can't see it no more so I can be walking with God now. Uh -huh. You shouldn't have to have a German shepherd and a cane. And blinders on, like those horses that the blind so they can't see in order to make it. Amen. Your eyeballs shouldn't have to fall out. Lust of the flesh. Huh? Uh, it's going to get deep. Uh, the problem is, let's talk about holiness churches that they don't talk about nothing. That's why I cannot be on the radio or TV because folk would turn it off or turn me into the authorities. Uh, the problem with the church is, uh, I'll tell you what would help, uh, a, a, a brother who is high nature, remember your nature, your sexual nature comes from God, okay? High nature is the perfect gift for him. Under the Christmas tree, under the mistletoe, is a high nature wife. I ain't studying y'all. It's a nasty self. Uh, high nature need to be with high nature. 
If high nature is with low nature or no nature, because God, listen, God's not going to change your nature because you're praying. When you could be praying. <laughs> P R E Y I N D. And playing. A uh, low nature and low nature. Y'all sitting on the porch and waving, folks, all day. <laughs> It's, 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 it's funny until you have to be a pastor and counsel those folk. It ain't funny no more. All right? It ain't funny no more. Okay? And those of you who have to deal with ministry, remember, all these people, everyone has a nature. Now, no, it's not foot locker where you go try to shoe on to see if it works. It's called fornication, as in Californication. No. That's called, amen, knocking booze, getting your salad tossed. You know, some salad got brown spots on it. That, just, that would be a concern. <laughs> that salad I see brown spots on it. There's something wrong, amen, with that lettuce. No, you don't try to chew on, amen. Uh, sex before marriage is like opium to the mind. And yet you don't get food. Huh? Now let me give a little hint to the men. Anything that can push out a six, seven pound baby needs much respect on that. <laughs> Put some respect on that. Alright? <laughs> Just follow instruction. Learn how to color. Stay between the lines. You'll do all right. But don't go bragging about your coloring. Amen. You have to teach that. Okay? You have to teach that. Uh, my wife would tell you that an old man that's done don't need to be with no young woman. The food is, it's like when you order a lot of food, you know you ain't got no appetite. Well, food you can throw out. <laughs> Amen. All because of a facade. Uh, remember, I have the right to talk. My sister married a, a, a shouting brother who liked men. Now he's a ugly woman. He goes to what they call a firming church. Affirm that y'all all going to hell. <laughs> Because God ain't never authorized no man to be in another man's butt. The only thing supposed to be in another man's butt is toilet paper. <laughs> See why I can't be on TV? <laughs> or enema? Or, or. <laughs> it's real limited. It, 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 it's real limited. Okay? And, and here's, a, here's another level. You can't even see the word apostolic and think that they know because this, I, I show Pastor Linda, who's uh, uh, not feeling well tonight, that these people claim to be baptized in Jesus' name and claim to be filled with the Holy Ghost. How many of y'all know that's impossible? There's no Holy Ghost will tell you no woman to use another woman as a licking stick. No Holy Ghost. No Holy Ghost. No, 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 not, not no. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 Amen. You shall receive power after that. No Holy Ghost. Matter of fact, the pastor is a man and he has a husband. I don't care what they got on the side. No Holy Ghost. That's impossible, people. That is an abomination. Amen. That's a reprobate mind. Okay? Uh, okay. Hey, your Holy Ghost. If I'm married to Sister Barlow, no Holy Ghost tells me to mess with Deborah. Uh, come on, people. Now, now, that is the power of God. No Holy Ghost. No Holy Ghost tells you to mess with somebody else's husband or wife. So it's not just homosexuality. It's anything outside the will of God. Amen. No Holy Ghost tells you to do that. But that just goes to show you the course of this world. All right? So the lust of the flesh. All right? Matter of fact, in, in, in Hebrew, when husband and wife come together, it's, it's, it's called really called church condition. It is it, it's holiness where two become one. 
And and the problem with the church is they, they you know, they first of all they match people up, which is crazy. Amen. Just because a person gets saved don't mean they for you. Amen, man. I know it's it's, it's, it's trust me on it. Alright? They match people up. You're supposed to pick your own trouble. When you get married, you're saying this is the person I want. This is the person who I want on my side or in my face so that Satan, that will fight Satan with me. That's who that person is. That person, is. this is the person I want to fight Satan with till I take my last breath. Period. Okay? And the nature, the nature, put this in your mind. People that have matching natures, they don't spend a lot of time tearing each other down, fussing and fighting. Okay? Uh, people who have mismatched natures, who have lied, men who have lied to themselves, or men who spend much, too much time out there and they're finished, or, or women who want a husband but, but don't, but withhold their body and everything because they've been molested or whatever, huh? And I, I got with him because he had a good job. Well, suppose he loses. So oh, nonsense stuff. Amen. So watch this now. This is an old, old grace episode. Anybody to come to your life, you got to ask God who sent them. Where'd you come from? Why are you sitting next to me? Who are you? Who sent you? Who sent you in my life? Amen. I can use the more because, but, but if she was no good, I ain't no way in the world. I would have told him, man, she ain't no good. Dude, you getting played. Huh? And, and, and I, I'm not talking about him being a member and because he got a good job. I care less about all that. I got a nice house too. No, I don't want it on my record that you married the wrong person in this church. Amen. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Huh? Uh, first of all, here's the thing that helps you. Here's the good lust of the flesh. Is when you lust after your companion. All right, put that in your mind. That is called holiness. Amen. Huh? When your wife walks by and a cheek, you see a cheek hanging out, that's God. <laughs> now when your wife walks by, she got a Bible and a concordance, that ain't God. <laughs> that ain't God. <laughs> now she purposely dropped the Bible and bent over, that's God. <laughs> Now that's God. See why I can't be on TV, man. See why I can't be on TV. Hey, 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 man, here come on. People calling in, lying all clogged up. Amen. So the good lust of the flesh is when you lust after your companion. All right? Huh? But usually, this lust of the flesh here is when you want something more than you want God. Okay. You can lust after somebody else's husband or wife. Amen. Or lust after anything that wasn't, amen, a sign for you. Your flesh. Your flesh. You can lust after someone's uh, uh, limelight. A gift. Amen. God had enough sense not to give me Coco's voice because y'all be in trouble. I'd be on the board. Matter of fact, I tip the other chairs over. Like, don't nobody want to hear y'all. I'd be singing from the commercial. I'd be jumping on stage with folk. I'd walk around with a, 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 a karaoke machine all the time with a mic. I'm at Hinky Dinky. I'm at Walmart. Uh-huh. Hinky Dinky, I don't care, man. So the Lord said, if I gave him that kind of voice, I'd have to kill him. So I'm alive <laughs> to enjoy Coco. And my joy is genuine. Amen? Huh? So, I said, so the good lust of the flesh is when you lust after your companion. All right? And you spend your lifetime looking good for one another. I ain't studying y'all. All right? All right? Comma. So here the, the bad lust of the flesh is. Destroying people. Taking advantage of people. Amen. Uh, using people. And then throwing them away. 
Uh, uh, Kenny tell that young man, I won't call his name, he was up here, I went to bless his baby, he up there grinning like it's some game. I said, do you want your daughter to run into a man like you? He quit, he quit grinning. He should have got, went out and got in the water and got filled with the Holy Ghost because he was dead a year later. Because that same little silly girl he was falling behind got him killed right there on 30th Street in that club. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Do you want your daughter to run into a man like you? I'll flip it around. Do you want your son to run into a woman like you? Okay. Uh, you get you, you. God did not put you on the earth to destroy people, or take advantage of them, uh, or play a confidence game. Uh, I thank God. This ain't no slick mystery. Ain't nobody trying to use you. Amen. Huh? If, if anything, amen. We're trying to be an oncologist and get whatever cancer, whatever has metastasized, to stop you from being great. Amen. Uh, I text my son, Keith. I'm so proud that he came back home. I'm so, I sent him some right now. It's in the Sunday paper where some young man uh, was riding around with some other teenagers. And now he faces it. By the time, let's see, 17. Did you realize that By the time he get out, he'll be 30-something years old. See, if he'd have just came to a Kenny, he ain't ready for that kind of lifestyle. Ain't no guns where he going. Uh, but that's his gift. Amen. That's his gift. That is what God, and thank God he came back home. He tired of Satan robbing him. Amen. Huh? Right. Well, but, 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 but now, but now, now, you got a, you got a, a motivated devil. He confident. He confident. He said, I'll rob you once, I'll rob you again. I'm not going to let you go out there, amen, and collect souls. <laughs> I'm not going to let you do that. That's why I went to, to, to pray for the Mitchells. Amen. I said, y'all got to pay a price for this love affair. You got to pay a price. One time that, that girl going to be in front with one of those bad dresses she wear, and she's going to be talking to people much older than her. She owed God for that kind of man. What, 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 what are other 19-year-olds doing? On a, a flat on their back? Huh? Flat on their back, getting played, beefing with other crazy heifers? She got a man of God in a beautiful home, and she's 19 years old. Amen. If there was ever, I told him, he has to, oh God. Thank God he didn't have no gum under his table. He owed God for every church he passed by. That woman was in this church. He owed God for that kind of love affair. Amen. Huh? So he had, to, he had to maneuver people. People kill me maneuvering. And people will be jealous of you because they got paid for what they flesh lust over. I never get kidding. When I was at a restaurant, that man went out talking about, he got, that's when I had a Jaguar. He got this, 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 this. Well, what you got, homie? You got child support payments. I ain't got those. Why are you mad at me? Your flesh, got, you got booty, and you ain't got nothing to show, but I got paid for everything the booty produced. <laughs> You could have walked by, Bell Bill the ball told you don't trust the big button to smile. But no! <laughs> Beans and rice ain't missed it. You got fries go with that shake. Uh huh. Now it's a child support go with that shake. Oh, who you, you, why are you mad at me? Amen. The lust of people's flesh has hindered, and the older you get, the older you get, and find out what really matters. Amen. You'll thank God for the word of God that caused you to hem your flesh in. Amen. The word of God. Okay, so we talked about good lust of the flesh and bad. All right. What's the other punch? And the lust of the eyes. The lust of the eyes. Amen. Didn't they get a lot in trouble? The first thing you do, first thing you do is you look in that direction. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all have, have, have looked in a direction and God told you go the other way and you like, I got to pray about it. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Now pray about it. Now see, now the lust of the eye. Because that's, that's 
on the good part of the lust of the eyes, I tell you, anything materially that you want, you just keep looking at it. And your prefrontal cortex, you will start trying to design a way to get it. Uh, I tell people with no money, uh, uh, you know, don't go rob Taco Bell. You've been ordering burritos. They know you, Junior. Junior, they know you behind that mask. They know it's you. You order the same thing. And to prove it, why you robbing, you reach around there and get one. <laughs> hey, Junior, put that gun down. No, I can do this. Look. You look. Ask my wife. That night we looked. Where had a nice house? We looked. My mind. My mind started working on how I'm going to get this. That's when I saw the price. I said, man, it was dark. And I said, this, this is. So I said, okay, what's wrong with it? Wasn't nothing wrong with it. It was my blessing. But my mind automatically. Okay? So the lust of the eye. See, uh, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. And that's, that, that's the good part of the lust of the eye. If you keep seeing something, a home, uh, uh, a career, whatever, and you're willing to have the work ethic and get there, that's good. Okay? But the other part, the negative part, is when you lust for something and you see it and it don't belong to you. That's what got David in trouble. Okay, we show it Eve, her eyes. Huh? Write this in your mind. It's up to Satan to show you something that will destroy you. It's up to him. To show you something that will destroy you. Hmm? Mm. I tell my son, now's a real crucial time. Hey, Amen. Here come, here come, here come anything. Because you literally, uh, uh, if, if, if Tamika starts writing your book, son, you literally can go right to the top. We will put you on a billboard. Uh, yeah, I've already done it. We'll put you on a billboard. That thing we discussed right here is wide open. Now, now that I spoke it, you got to watch every crazy female. You got to watch. Because if you go up, the higher you go up, here come a devil said, good, I'll take him down. Amen. That's the beauty of somebody who loves you as a brother writing your story. You don't want nobody else to write your story. And they ain't going to do it right. But you got to be on guard. Amen. And you're in, I know what you told me, huh? That when you was down, when you whatever. But oh, you don't know what God did on that front row. God will restore everything back to you. Amen. Everything. And you go up. And we'll put you on a billboard. Huh? Train hard under God. Whatever you want to call it. And, and, and here comes. Then all of a sudden, <laughs> something saw you. As much street knowledge as you had, something saw you, but you didn't see them. Now they threatening you, blackmailing you. I tell everybody this. Amen. Now, see, 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 see what I'm talking about? Huh? Something that saw you before you saw them. Amen. And then when you see them, you don't see them for what they really are. Our eyes are dangerous, people. That's why I'm going over it again. Anytime somebody show up in your life, uh, who sent you? And then when you know you on the cusp of greatness, you have to ask God, open up my eyes. Because here come everybody, huh? Trying to reap the benefit. Here come everybody. Amen. Want to take advantage of a low moment in your life. And you didn't see their intention. But they saw you. Amen. Lusting after, amen, a settlement. Lusting after an insurance policy. Lusting after a blessing. Lusting after your gift. They saw it, but they don't want to work for it. They want to jump on your back. You know how I many people I get a message they're talking about? Uh, Hi, Reverend Barlow. I'm so and so. All right, cool. I wonder, can you help me out? I wonder, can you walk in 2216 military? You could have got your help. Amen. You probably the one been popping off. He he this, he that, he that, he this, he that. But now you want help. <laughs> Whatever I was before you got broke, let me be that that day. <laughs> no, nah, man. Hey, hey, that stuff don't move me. Amen. <laughs> man, we, 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 we teach the right type of prosperity. Matter of fact, the Bible says you're supposed to prosper as your soul prospers. You're supposed to prosper as your soul prospers. 
You don't have to write this down in your mind. You don't have to lust after nobody's stuff. You should be able to appreciate people's gift, be complimentary. If you're a man and you're single, don't you marry no woman who can't compliment somebody else. You got to be happy for other folk. Amen. And you shouldn't feel people who are not happy for folk. Their eyes cause them to be insecure. And please, I understand women. I can't. How can a man say he think he? Come on, man. What kind of chihuahua mess is that? Don't no man talk about no other man think nothing. Now females, yeah. But a man talking about, um, he think he's something. Well, I think you funny. I think something wrong with you. You a man, go get your own. Amen? So the l lust of the eyes is up to Satan to show you something that will separate you from God. How I many know every promotion is not a promotion? Anytime something will cause you to ascend, to where you don't need God anymore. Mm. You should be able to be wealthy and still be at Bible class. You should be able, amen, to have truck. Fly your helicopter. Have your jet land at Epley in a, in a private car. Drive you up front. And still walk with God. Amen. Uh, and be, be because you, you didn't have something. Look at people who lusted after stuff and what they lusted after killed them. Y'all not familiar with, with their CEOs who are overcoming the up with brain cancer? Who stepped on everybody to get there and didn't understand no, that pressure? <laughs> brain cancer. Uh, you want what is in the will of God. Amen. When you see something, God is that, right? This God is that in your divine will. I don't just have to have that at the expense of my soul. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all saw people and you wish the day you could take them to Walmart and take them back. If we had a line now for you to return some folks, you would jump up out your seat and be first. You would come on now. Wish you had never met them. Wish you had never gave up the gut. Wish you had never seen them. Amen. They, you thought they was fine. They look ugly now. They look like a monster. They look like Chucky. Amen. <laughs> huh? You had to do it all over again. You wouldn't have touched that heifer with. Oh, don't say that with somebody else. Anyway, you wouldn't have touched that heifer with a, with a pole. <laughs> so I can't be on the radio or TV. Huh? Amen. Your eyes. Uh, Marcus, I just wanted that yellow Cadillac. I should have seen that engine. Don't be laughing, Lon. I ain't told a joke yet. <laughs> Let me talk to you this man. man. I had a yellow Cadillac when I was in the service, man. Man, had leather seats, butter leather seats. <laughs> Sunroof top, security system. That thing was long. That one Cadillac was long, huh? And I had to have it. I, I didn't ask God did it run or not. I just had to have it. Huh? Should have known why the price. Don't be laughing, Brian. Do not even try to hold it back. I should have known why the price was low. You know what it was? You know what it was, Deborah? You know what it was, Deborah? <laughs> it was. A, it was a 1981. It was a when GM uh, tried to take a come up with a diesel engine in two weeks instead of the. He already laughed. Man, I ain't even told the story yet. Man, he must have had water. <laughs> GM tried to come up with a diesel engine in two weeks for the market. Not Mercedes' is diesel. They've been around forever. Not Audi's diesel, but no, GM, General Monkey, no, General Motors had to come up. Huh? And I bought one. And my car was looking good, but it had that bad 350 engine in it. So I'm on the highway, I'm dressed up. Come on, Chaz. I'm dressed up, Chaz. I'm going to Dallas. I'm going to Neiman Marcus in Dallas. I'm cruising. It goes 70. <laughs> 60. 50. 40, 30. I'm 15. 10. <laughs> it's time to pull over. Now I'm going to show you pride. I'll get to that later. 
I'm too sharp to get out in daylight. So I pull a map, I act like I pulled over and I'm reading the map. I'm waiting for the sun to go down. Because I'm too sharp. Zero. I got out, and just like everybody else whose eyes caused them to get something, I, I blame God. <laughs> I'm walking down the highway with my cat. It's so bad, the bleakers don't even work no more. <laughs> you know, you be bleak, huh? Like, you're like, the bleakers be like, hell, we ain't do nothing, and they stop. <laughs> and there was my big, shiny Cadillac with the bad engine. God, why did you let this happen to me? God could have said, that's your eyeballs. You had to have that. You should have asked somebody. Amen. And then I tried to trade it in. If you look at the card right now, it'll tell you, if you buy that year, subtract the whole balance or whatever. It's worth nothing. They'll say subtract. Okay, let's say the worth is Three thousand. They say, give the person you owe them another two thousand if they take it. It was that bad, and I had one. Now you laughed at my story. What about your lust of eye stories that you don't want to talk about? One, everybody got a bunch of them, huh? Anybody wish they'd never seen somebody? Mm. <laughs> Have you seen her? I wish the hell I hadn't. <laughs> That's the rest of the song. Somebody do the remix. <laughs> the lust of the eyes. Write this down when you have an anointing on you. The confident one say he's going to dangle something in front of your face. A shortcut. An opportunity. Amen. <laughs> you know, dangle it. See this? See what you can be if you step outside the will of God. Huh? See, that's what I love about my, my two real estate barons. Amen. Because real, real estate is so cutthroat. When you get to the cutthroat where, where you hide listings and all that old crazy stuff and, and whatever, man, you've already been, wealth has already been pronounced, so you ain't got to do nothing. Amen. Uh, man, all kind of stuff. People. People, uh, uh, let's, let's say there's a house in Lennon Estate, and uh, Dr. Gunn wants it, but if somebody else is listening, won't even put in her offer. All that old slick stuff. Huh? Won't even put in her offer. House is $3 million, uh, Dr. Gunn offered two point nine, and and, and mm, uh, so you're like, okay, well, we put the offer in. Well, oh, I forgot, I got busy. Sure they do it. You're supposed to raise sand when they do it. Huh? Because what are you doing with a three point million? What are you doing with a two point nine million dollar offer you just started? It's called favor, fool. Hey, Amen. That's what I'm doing with a two point nine. <laughs> Don't let it be named among y'all. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the lust of I, I want to get somewhere faster than the process said I'm supposed to be. I destroy folk in ministry. I won't call his name because he's still pastor, but he, he, he just he just want to make a hit. So a blood gang member died. He had cancer. So we at the funeral home and he panicking, talking about a uh, ball. I left my. I left my message on my word processor. I said, hey, hey homie, on your word processor. Hey, uh, Kitty, you already know what I'm talking about. On your word processor. Man, everybody all bandanaed up and stuff. Man, you got to come from here. Ain't nothing on your word processor. But you know what? He was screwing the game number sister. Am I lying, Kitty? No, I'm not lying. I, well, you ain't got no word for them. They just looked at you. Huh? See, see, even all those ministries, I don't care how many conferences you go to. What works for Jake's or whoever, that don't mean that's going to work for you. Right, right. Amen. We say niche, but it's niche and free. That's your own niche. Why did God raise you up? And even then, when God raised you up and you keep going, that brings jealousy. 
Huh? Because why haven't you emulated? Why have you tried to duplicate what somebody else has done? No, because that ain't me. Huh? Does somebody else and I mean they try to go to Pleasant View? Man, but look, I had Pleasant View dudes in my church. Plus, I was doing it. Howard Buffett asked, uh, what's that lady's name? What's that man in North uh, who died? Maybe what's that man in North? There a long time. His wife used to go to YMCA. Uh, Mr. Before Mr. Hank, huh? No, not Hank, the other guy. Oh, Harvey. Harvey, Mr. Harvey. Here's the story. You just call. I'm on the radio, man. I, I started from scratch. Because my kids all came from Pleasant View, East and West. I knew butter all them back in the day. So I'm, man, I'm. <laughs> but I started, nah, because my kids came from Pleasant View. Sony, uh, 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 Shawnee, the Tonys, all oh, that was my first kid. Uh, uh, what's that boy's name? Uh, uh, what's that boy's name? His daughter coming here every now and then. She hurt. He slammed her mother. Nia, Nia, uh, uh. Vaughn, Vaughn Johnson, all them. Those are my first kids. Don't nobody start no church with kids like that. I did. Out of my heart. Trying to go to trying to go to school because I had a VA. You know, got money for a VA. I'm in school, sleep, phone going off, everything. You know, I just didn't keep lights on. But somebody was watching me. So somebody get a radio, whatever get a radio for. So Warren Buffett's son, like, who is he? They say, is he somebody who just taking advantage of these kids and shooting each other? It was bad back then. Or, or so Miss Harvey, Miss Harvey spoke up for me. She said, no, he's been doing this. I used to be able to walk into schools. Matter of fact, Carol, Carol Rigg called me to come to a school one time. A girl, was, I know then a girl's going to kill a girl, had a butcher knife in her bag. And y'all know her too, man. She's going she gonna, to she gonna kill somebody right now on Facebook who I deleted because she, she done got smart. Talking about God, and she, she's just silly. Don't know. She could have got poked up that day. She was going to get poked. Because the girl had the knife in, in, the, in her bag, and I had to dismiss Miss Bougie, who was trying to talk about some HBCU. Uh, look, look, lady, let me holler at them. Man. Can you leave? She stepped out. Hey, man, I got them both on the face. Because I knew I had rapport. Rapport. Remember, I'm not big trying to look at somebody else and say, I'm going to do what they do. I'd have got killed. Okay, that night we was out there. We could have got killed. You got to go in Jesus' name. Yeah, amen. And Satan will try to show you where you go in your own name. Amen. And get yourself hurt. If I don't win in anybody else's name, I'm not up here. So I dismissed Miss Bougie. I'm like, man. And so the girl, man, she's still clung. She's 47 years old. She's still clung. She said, can I show you something, Pastor Ball? Mm-hmm. Big, long butcher. I was going to stab her. I know because once, this is this the church? The 22nd. 20 sec one church one of my churches they went and got me in service it was this, it was this one it was this one when they came and got me because she was pregnant and she was fighting eight girls and they said come in because someone's out there fighting so i had report i still had report with her and she's clowning because i was there that night she got shot i was at the hospital my whole point is this is not a ministry of emulation what i like let me get my name in the paper no not 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 with these angry people and somebody tried to look and do it, I'm going to do it. And man, almost got killed in Pleasant View. No. God has something for you. Amen. God has something for you. You ain't got to look at what God has for you. Know what you're called to do. No. Uh, uh, one time we was out, uh, Tommy Pryor was in here praying. He ain't called a ride out there. Well, uh, her, her sister Janine came out with one time. Janine should have stayed home. Janine out in Pleasant View with a long piece of paper. Everybody ran back in the house. I said, Janine, <laughs> we are we, we we was out there in Pleasant View just kicking it, huh? Everybody on the porch just smoking weed. Come on, dog. Ain't never seen us do. Some of y'all do it too. Ain't, ain't even supposed to be a sinner no more. <laughs> <laughs> So, 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 we all sitting and just, I said, we just going to go out there and kick it. Just going to kick it. We got the nine to come in. Diane White's boy was on the corner. I come in with the drop top. They look, they do like that, which means come on in, because you ever get lost in pleasure, dude. They tore it down, man, good thing. Because you get in, don't know your way out. You in trouble. So we get in, we sit there, all of a sudden, Janine come up with a piece of paper. Oh, got the scattering and running. They think she the popo. 
Oh, Denise, you got to go home. You can't come out of us no more. Amen. I see, I want to do a work for the Lord. Every work for the Lord ain't for you. Why well, I got to get killed? Because you out of work. <laughs> Amen. Am I understand that? When you see something that's dangled before you, you see it. Can I help my wife? You're supposed to help your husband's eyes. The Hebrew version is a lot of men. I ain't talking about lazy men, but a lot of men who are gifted. Is Satan wants them to step out of bounds of their gifting. If you shoot a shot from the water fountain, does it count? No. <laughs> Matter of fact, you see people hit one from the, from the, from the baseline, it would be like, no, it don't count. Why? He's out of bounds. All right? So a wife, a wife says, okay, here's his gifting. That's why you can't be married to somebody you're jealous of. Uh, you got to have, you got to, well, honey, honey, your gifting is this right here. And he has to have confidence in you. And later on, you know, because you know who you sleep with, you're supposed to have a, right this side, you're supposed to have a doctorate in who you sleep with. A doctorate. Mm. That's, that's, honey, that's your gift. To, and you got to watch how you say it. I'm talking, you ignorant. No, 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 you just chipped the whole night. You can't come you ignorant. <laughs> you, you, no, no, honey, yo, yo, yo. If, 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 his, if he's west and his gifting is east, all of a sudden you have a picture of when he's on the east coast. Honey, that's you. You're looking good. Over there in Jersey. Oh, baby, I think God sent me to Cali. Do you know how far you got to come back if you are the will of God? Now, you, if, you, if you make it to Indianapolis, you got a big distance to get back to the East Coast. But if you're in Cali, you're supposed to be on the East Coast. Watch this now. I'm going to get heavy now. If you're a King Walker, somebody dies. He gifted y'all. That's why I ain't here. He, he ain't know each other. If you're a Kenny Walker and you're on the West Coast, when well, you're supposed to be on the East Coast, Somebody dies. <laughs> Stay up all night and figure that out. Huh? <laughs> Somebody dies because you're not with him. That's why Satan put you on the West Coast. So you couldn't see what you were supposed to be a blessing to on the East Coast. Am I making sense now? Huh? So anytime an opportunity comes up, like, okay, that's what place, plan what? I want to go to this city. Well, uh huh. There might be a molester in your apartment. A plane might land, land in your neighborhood. Uh, Karan Johnson. I want to work in, in, in New York. Uh, what's that uh, 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 company? Huh? The World Trade Center. September 11th, glad he wasn't there. You see that ash come down? That was human beings. Because that's 2,100 degrees. What you saw was an incinerator at the water fountain. All of a sudden, they became at, ooh, wow. So people were sitting there with people's remains on them. And Quran should have been up there. And he, 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 he was so disappointed when he didn't get that job. How I many I want to thank God that God didn't let you get with your eyes? Your eyes. Mm. Two things that was heavy on Sunday. You thank God for whatever happened that caused you not to ascend past the will of God. So God had to bring you down. Oh, don't know I want God to bring them down. Amen. So you thank God whatever opposition. That's what I told my daughter Lisa. Now, opposition. Everybody love people love God, but not everybody. Thank God wasn't everybody. Amen. What's in the word? You think everybody love you and you correct your stuff. It's impossible for everybody to love you when you correct your stuff. Now they'll love the oncologist, but not no pastor. But not a pastor about to come. Okay. Huh. They don't care what the oncologist gets, and he got a Porsche and a home and one in Aspen and whatever else. Amen. And and his mistakes, the cemetery is buried. When he misdiagnosed, oh, mm, Carrie, remember who was served by Carrie? I'll pay some procedure. Quack was in there. One hour, two hour, three hour, four hour. Oh, it's going to take 30, 45 minutes. He's dead. Then his food has severed a main artery. Oh, oops. That person. 
Our people shouldn't even be dead. But somebody who who who, who cheated their way through medical school. Deborah, are there some incompetent doctors? Huh? Leaving gauze and everything else. Don't know. Coming there drunk. I, I went to see one member, man, and and and, and the dude was high. We little match. We all with a blown up. He high as a kite. Yeah, I mean, check out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah smelling like liquor. How many of y'all thank God for Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, <laughs> your protection? Satan will let your eyes take you out of place. You see it. You know, Rabbi, you had a bunch of houses, but you know what? Nothing pulls me out of Omaha. I don't care what your cousin say. That's why I can have a place in Nova Scotia, Montreal, anyway. I, I can get a place on the move. I'm going to come back to Omaha. Because Stephen was coming. And Ariel was coming out of Michelle's womb. A Carl was coming. Amen. Some of y'all, the people that brought you to Grace ain't even here no more. But you were here. Hey, isn't that a blessing? <laughs> so you have to be able to see things. Write this down. And run it by God. God's will, not your lust. Run it by him. Oh, uh, 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 we heard about your ministry and we want to offer you this church that you don't have to put up $200,000 in the boiler and you ain't got to redo the baptism and all that and we're going to give you a salary and we're going to give you a million dollars and a stipend. You ain't, give me, you ain't give me nothing. So you mean I got to wait to after service to get my check? Yes, and on Monday we'll give you a prayer list of who to go see. You keep your list. No. Oh, you probably, not for a million dollars. Two million. Three million. You don't believe me, do you? All right? Let's, I fall for it. Three million. All right? And I live in a... a mm. There's no protection there. I know you don't believe it. There's no protection there. You can't protect yourself with no $3 million. Those planes come down. Amen. There might be a virus, right? It ain't no telling what. Anything can happen. Ah, let me help you. Uh, when I prayed for you, I told you I saw you too when I was walking. And I said, mm, now I know who they are in God. I said, God, amen, send an angel for the, you going to blow you away. I said, send an angel from wherever they are. I know where y'all live. All the way home and escort. So I saw an angel sitting on the front ride. You know how to ride, amen, but somebody leave. Ride on the bumper, just riding. Good thing God didn't remove those angels. Because on Monday when I came to visit your house, I went down Cape Heart Road. And I saw the green light, and I was like, okay, I'm not trying to turn it I'm trying to stay on Cape Park because the wife had given me the instructions. And I ran right through a red light. You ever, and I, I'm, I'm through it. I went, you what? Not on purpose, just trying to follow this right, right through the red. And my heart, God, did not remove the same angels. They sit there and wait until I came to bless your house. Amen. And they were still. I thought about it all the way home. I'm like, my life. My angels didn't move. Because how many of y'all know it should have been? And I was at fault. I didn't do it on purpose. I saw the, uh, the, the turning light. I was, and by the time I was all the way through, and it was red. You can't beat being in the will of God. Now, you can learn on a Tuesday night or you can learn it the hard way. Because mm, somebody going to offer you something. Somebody going to offer you something. Amen. It's to get you out the will of God. Your eyes. If anything, Satan will say, see that? See that shortcut. See that, 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 uh-uh. No, no, no. God, if it ain't for me, I don't want it. God, show me a Send somebody to come by and tell me. Wouldn't it be something? I had a dream about you that say offered you something that was going to kill you. Don't care. I'm talking about your best friend. 
I'm talking about somebody who's praying for you and really happy for you. Happy that you are in God's will. The lust of the eye. Now back to husband and wife. It's called, I'll write this down, spirit of discernment. Now if you don't want a cord, it can look fabulous. Amen. And she said, uh-uh, it's something, it's something. Let me, let me help y'all. In my house, when I got turned down for the fourth time by those powerful underwriters okay. and bank, I had to call the man, like, look, I ain't trying to rent this again for no $72,000. I already wrote one nasty check like that. I ain't trying to do that again. Uh, he said, let me call my wife and ask her what she wanted to do. And I just got turned down. He called me back. He said, William, we want you to have that house. And if we have to rent it again to you for another year, even if I have to, if we have to do a owner finance and help you. Is that the will of God, folks? That's the will of God. As it was, no, there was no owner finance. That is in our name. Period. Amen. Huh? But, but look how he is. This is a man who's not even in God, in church. He asked his wife, if your wife didn't like me? No. Matter of fact, I found out they owed more for the house than what I bought it for. I'm trying to get y'all to line up. With it. Your eyes can take you out the will of God. Especially if you don't have a pure heart. Does that make sense? Are oh, you going to get an offer? There's too much is at stake. Shortcut. And you got to trust your wife. You ain't talking about no silly girl. We talking about somebody's like, I mean, I don't, it's a long time. I don't know what it is, but it's something. It's something. It could be, let's say, a, 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 a business opportunity. It could be that that company done lied on their financial reports and they about to go under. Uh, or, or they offer you this crazy, and it, man, get you out on that limb, and the company about to go under. Or about to get sold. I don't have time tonight to tell you how important the will of God is. So when you see something, you pray, you put it before God. Just don't jump. That's the lust of the eye. Boring. The pride of life. That's the third punch. Pride of life is dangerous, folks. The pride of life. I got it made. I don't need God no more. I don't need prayer. I don't need nothing. I don't forgot who fed me. Amen. I forgot my diaper was dirty. I forgot who changed. I forgot who helped me. Amen. I will lie and say I did it on my own. You are tripping. Amen. Uh, uh, you, you, you will never outgrow the womb you came out of. Amen. Huh? You should thank God. Amen. If you're a Saul, you better thank God for Samuel while you got him. Amen. Because Samuel corrected you. Samuel didn't have no agenda. That's why you see people that get it right. They don't get so proud or rich or whatever that they forget the person. I mean, there are people who are going to quit except God sits somebody by and say, keep going. Huh? Why? Because they were down. Amen. Huh? Whoever warned you, whoever was a red light, whoever was your yellow light, amen. Whoever was your green light when you was at a stoplight. Come on now. I feel like a rapper. Amen. You need to thank God. Huh? Because you were at a standstill. Well, didn't Betty help you? Oh, that was then. God would have used somebody else, but he didn't. My 33 years, man, I can tell you, I told you I was talking, and that thing I was talking to Kenny about, somebody was going back and forth with me, I was talking about that. Sure so was. They was under so much pressure, they pants size went from a 32 to a 28. 
they're married. <laughs> I was with their wife in a car one time and they dropped an F-bomb on her. Now, you know, some people ain't been cussed out before. That's a game changer. Marriage was about to end. I, I had to talk to her. Had to cover up some other man. He better, ever, he better hope I never get on crack. And he full of himself. Huh? One of my daughters, amen, before she got in church was jumping out of cakes. He playing like he in church. He playing now. He maneuver where he's at right now. He's one of those maneuver folk. Man, anytime Oprah tell you to your face she don't like you, you got a problem. She rich enough to see somebody trying to maneuver. <laughs> that way I understand when Stedman asked me to come up because I checked him. When he asked me to come to Chicago, I ain't going. My mother said, you going? No, nah, I ain't going. Why? Well, I'm going to go. The only thing between me, he can shop longer than me. Other than that, I ain't going. I did what I had to do. Oh, I'm not no maneuver. What God has for you, you're going to get. What God doesn't have for you, amen, and then you lay claim to something <laughs> that you done maneuvered yourself in because you don't see the end product. You don't see the end of the movie. Huh? Uh, 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 Miami by auto shows, the little party you got to drink. You know somebody about to die before the commercial? <laughs> You already know that when they open up and they banging and the lights and the strobe life and eh, oh, oh, you're like, mm, who is it? <laughs> you trying to guess. Sure enough, they go to the bathroom. Sure enough, they go behind. Sure enough, they be trying to get some in the balcony and somebody, boom. And when they back, come back from the commercial, they chalk that. They had to stay there the whole commercial. They still laid out. <laughs> huh? But well, when the show started, child, they was partying. Drinking. Getting their twerk on, smoke on, school on, whatever they do. Commercial break. They did. And then the rest of the show, we got to figure out who did it. <laughs> Amen. The pride of life. Write this down. Never get unplugged from God's will. If you start a fan, baby, and, and, and you know, and you unplug it, it looks like you're rolling, don't it? It don't just stop right away. The fan, and all of a sudden, somebody unplugged it. We get caught up in people we think is still plugged in. <laughs> it ain't plugged in. It's been unplugged. Okay? Get Genesis chapter 2. Why do you keep talking about these three punches? Because they work. They work in Genesis. They were offered to Jesus. You ain't above Jesus. It's coming at you. That's why you ought to thank God for a godly co companion. Not boyfriend, girlfriend. You ought to thank God for a godly wife, godly husband. Amen. Godly saints, godly friends. Huh? <laughs> How many birthdays you have to have before you realize some people you kicking with are jealous of you? Don't want you a sin. We call we call that name out in the hall, man. You know, you know, he don't want you to get behind him. He don't want you. To, he don't want you. The minute you see, many see on that billboard, they gonna come with some stories. That's why I thought I clean, clean hand, clean spirit, everything clean, clean it out. Cause they gonna come back, man. I know, it. man. You from here, but I know these people. <laughs> they don't want you to ascend. They've been knowing you gifted. Amen. Huh? <laughs> I told y'all the trick even for me. Everybody leave me talk about me. So where's that baby at? So Aiden throw up. You don't throw Aiden away. He's going to go out past it, right? Everybody throw up. So I'm going to find a few individuals that believe in people. I don't have believing folks. I believe in you enough to correct you. How about that? So when you don't have them, well, you're supposed to throw up on me. <laughs> or whatever. I can't fall for that trick. 
Amen. No more. If he throw up right now, she ain't throwing that baby away. She's going to go clean it up. Amen. He's going to go. There'll be a day. Amen. He won't be throwing up on himself. He'll be, he'll be tall, handsome. Amen. And a thinking member of society. Amen. Amen. There'll be a day he won't be pooping on him. Huh? But, 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 but there's some, there are people who have jealousy. And that person I'm talking about, they don't even want to help somebody get. Because it, Quran said he went to this person for a recommendation. And no, nah, because he saw the talent on Quran and didn't want to help him. Because he'll get where I'm at without mm, compromising. Who else? Uh, that newscaster with that bad wig. Pam Oliver. No. <laughs> Ain't got no friends. K hat. Not with that hat on her head. <laughs> huh? <laughs> she can't have no friends. She got no friends, Candace. Some girl called me from California and so we're talking about is there anybody in that field that wanna help? Amen. And she said no. She don't want nobody. So she looked bad. She don't want no one else looking good on that. Ain't that something? That's how you know you got there on some slick mess when you can down and help somebody else up. How many of y'all want, want, don't want to leave this earth without mentoring somebody? Amen. And lifting somebody up. Yeah, Lisa, pull a picture up. She's so up. Lisa, I try to tell you, amen. I ain't up here lying. She should have helped somebody. If she could have helped somebody, they could have helped her with her hair. See what happened? If she could have helped somebody, they could have helped her with that hat. <laughs> but no, she don't want to help nobody. Amen. Huh? Don't, don't, don't ever want some. That's the pride of life. Can't recommend nobody. You got them some slick stuff. How many of y'all have had people backstab you on the job and undercut you? Oh, man. Huh? Or, or sense that you know more than them. Won't even show you everything. Huh? The standard operating procedure. Well, hold, how many of y'all have people hold back vital information? Because they sense you were going to take their place. Huh? The pride of life. They get up there and lying, talking about I worked hard and I'm I walked five miles in the snow. You liar. <laughs> you was hoeing in the break room. Come on, love. Come on, love. You was hoeing in the break room. What the break room door being locked for? Doing lunch. Come on. I worked hard and, and mm. then the real story come out. Get Genesis chapter 2, man. I'm about to die. I got to see what Eve did. Eve, shut up, girl. Talk to your husband. Talk to your husband, girl. But no. You got to open your mouth. Mm -hmm. Chapter 3. Here are three punches right here. Ain't nothing wrong with saying, I'm going to ask my boyfriend. Well, that's why we all messed up. Chapter 3, verse 1. Don't worry, I ain't going to finish the whole thing. I'll do that tomorrow. Now the, now the serpent was more... The, 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 the serpent was slick. I'm telling you, there's a confident devil. He confident. He does not lack confidence. The church does not have the confidence that Satan has. There's only, a, according to your Bible, only a few people, Danielle, are going to be able... To have the, according to your Bible, except only a few find it. Only a few people are going to be confident enough to finish their course. Got some for all of us. He confident. You can't convince him if it ain't this month, next month, next year. He gonna separate you, me from the love of God. You can't convince him. And then if you on the cuss. If you're delayed but not denied, you done came to yourself. Mm. He getting things together. 
Somebody in your ear. Somebody jealous. Oh, you back there. You, man. Mm. Oh, that's what he's supposed to do. He don't go on vacation. He don't take cruises to the Bahamas. Mm. He came at Jesus. Then he left him, Daniel, for a season. That's why people get haughty. When he ain't messing with me like he, but it's only for a season. He gonna come back around. Man, he might give you winter off and be right there for spring. Huh? You got to know that. That's why I went to the Mitchell house. Hey, Amen. Y'all enjoy each other. Y'all, man, love affair, sanctify each room. There'll be a day because of the price of ministry. You're going to have all hell break loose. You, when you pull up in the driveway, you'll be a million dollar seller. But all kind of hell come. They lying, jealous. You ain't supposed to pass no exam first time and you be a million and two million and now you're in commercial and hear all kind of lies come up man if people don't have to mm, mm, you need a fat juicy Omaha lie told on you hey, amen he 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 did these documents what he really did was this and he was that watch this beautiful wife and some old crazy woman will lie on him Watch this now. We went to see a property together, and when they left, he put his hand on me. That's why you got to have a spirit of discernment. There'll be a day. He said, no, I want you to come with me on this side. I just feel something. Amen. This one needs help. And they'll send her because he's selling too much. He's in the paper. He's a $4 million seller. He's a $5 million seller. You think a devil's going to sit here and let him rise to the top? No, without opposition. Somebody thank God for opposition. That's when you come in. Huh? Watch this. Like, like honey, it's something about this. Because it could be somebody else's listing. It could be her listing. But she don't, but she thinks she's supposed to be with Brian Bell, not you. He had four million, she had two. If I deal with him, it would be at six. He like, oh. It's a you have to share a listing, right? You have to, it's her listing. But she wants your husband. Because she's been sitting back watching him ride. Who is he? Huh. Mm -hmm. I said, honey, I, just, I know I got this listing and uh, I see her and you need why don't you come with me no you got go oh Brian I heard so who's that that's my wife oh is she a realtor today she is <laughs> camera that you can put on your forehead look this little camera here you say go yeah, go come over with a GoPro <laughs> watch this now look how look what time it gets dark I don't know why I'm saying it it gets dark at what time 536 we got a showing at seven a seven it's dark uh uh come come with me it's dark. Now, now, now. So here's the showing. You're supposed to have professional gear, right? She got a skirt about four inches from her navel. She's trying to breastfeed China. All of a sudden, huh? Got on high hooker heels with some fishnets. Oh, she had a showing, all right. And then she see that beautiful Danielle Bell, huh? And then you check her right on the spot. How what did you really think? How you think I got the four million? You're looking at it right there. Amen. Did you really think? You gotta be that close. You gotta be that close. Huh. You might have took a position somebody thought it was theirs. Yeah, what kind of world y'all live in? 
a serpent been looking at you. In the Hebrew version, the serpent looked at Eve and said, mm, what I could do with one of them. She saw him, the, her, the serpent. A devil watch. That's why I went and talked to those kids. Y'all just ain't going to conduct no love affair without no opposition. Serpent looking at you. Got a blessing. Come around the corner. You've been faithful. I got faithful people here. Faithful. And here's serpent light. Huh. I can't let that take off. Whoever you live next to, meal, they get the healing in the neighborhood. They get all kind of protection. And ask Chris and them. There was a standoff. That was in the news. But Echo couldn't leave the house. Somebody's mind snapped. Echo said that fool it just got it saw. That fool got uh, out since 11 o'clock. Couldn't leave. Somebody's mind done snapped. So what a devil does is he's watching you. Now you got to learn how to be watched. And break his confidence. Because this lady wasn't ready. And her problem, I'll finish it tomorrow. Her problem was she got into a conversation with no word. Jesus talked back at it. Same three punches. Lust of the flesh. Lust of the eye. Probably like. But Jesus... When Jesus said it, he spoke word. She got into a conversation and she had a weak husband. She had a weak husband. Because he was given the instruction. Huh? But he was weak. Let's read a couple of verses and we'll dismiss. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Which the Lord God has made. He's more subtle than any beast of that field and your field and my field too. That's why you don't get a day off in holiness. This ain't no religion. It's trying to destroy you. Amen. That's why I send people text early in the morning. Why? He's the son of the morning. Get your hands up. He ain't letting you. Mm. There's some people you want to kill and you in the way. Huh. You in the way. All of a sudden, like the young man in the paper, all of a sudden he ran to Kenny, ran to Quanta, he ain't got that life no more. They found out he had a dad, he's a baby, he's a father now. So there you go, see that cycle? Whole cycle. He won't be, a, when Tommy gets out, the child will be 17 years old. They even put an article. Said by the time we see this baby, this baby will be driving. Throw him away. Okay? That's just one soul. How many of y'all know Satan will target on one person? He don't care. That's one that won't do me no damage. So that's why you don't take uh, you don't you don't take days off, husband, wife. You don't sit there and try to destroy somebody. That person needs you to watch stay back. There's some arguments. And anybody married to anybody ain't living time. You know all they fall. People make mistakes. People wrong. People miscommunicate. But you got a bigger enemy watching y'all. You're not supposed to assist the enemy in taking your companion down. Sometimes they wrong, you just ignore it, amen. Because the bigger fight is a distraction. Huh? They don't mean to be short with you. They got a contract. They got things on their mind. You got pressure. You got something you got to turn in. You got a presentation you got to do. You got people pulling you on your job. And you trying to get your mind ready to go. How many have to get your mind ready to go to work? Hey, man, you got to face these old crazy people. And, and then you don't say good morning right or goodbye right in. But then when you come to yourself, just text them like, Hey, right. it's because people are tripping with me. And they always said traps. I mean, I always said traps. Always. Always some drama. You know why? Because that's their world. Why can't you just go to work and make money? And do right. All that other stuff. My point is don't assist the devil. Hamburger helper. I helped. <laughs> I'm the one I help. I help. I help destroy it. I help set her up. I help. <laughs> Read two more verses. Yeah, so, 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 Satan talks to women. So you don't want to marry a woman. You want to want you want to marry a woman that Satan talked to, and she gonna talk to you. And then when she does talk to him, she gonna talk scripture. 
to be a certified banker, but ain't got no word in there. Which means I saw you on the billboard. And I want, I want to, I've never been on a billboard. But if a devil ever come after you, I can't, there's no word. Matter of fact, I'll tell you to take the contract to get you smoked. Because I'm looking at what it's going to do for me. Not whether that's where you're supposed to. Nah, that's too much stuff for y'all to do. Okay? And you can't beat being on one accord. All right? That's, that's a blessing. One accord. In sync with one another. So she's talking and she ain't got a word in it. Read. Yeah, has God said. <laughs> Look at that. Now you going to question. Has God said, read. He shall not yield every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit. Right, Look at that. Now she done. See, see. Either he didn't explain it to her. Now, Erica, this is where you come in at. Because Satan don't talk to you. Because you have a great attitude. You don't care who get blessed. You like. You've been enough Tuesday night class to come back with a word. All he did was misquote. Same thing he did with Jesus. He misquoted Psalm 91. You misquote. But if you don't know the scripture, get your Bible or ask your husband. Don't sit there and talk to a devil. You ain't got no word in you. He's going to tap into your emotion. So you get the conversation going. You see? There's a time to be independent. There's a time to be dependent. Amen. If you got a good man of God, that's a blessing. Amen. Lean on it. Honey, what you think about this? What you think? This is what was presented to me. Put them on hold. Like, just, just a minute. You said what? Put them on hold. What you think? Oh, that ain't no word. That's a trick. That's a game. That ain't God. Hang up on him. That's when you can't be no smarter. Hang up. I, I, I ain't no Hebrew slave. Don't tell me to hang up. Well, get hung then. <laughs> Are you like, click. <laughs> There's a time. Ain't that we used to get all these. Uh, you won this and you won that. My wife told me, we, we ain't won nothing. Bro, tear that stuff up. Sometimes they're going to not tear them up anyway. Like, we ain't want nothing. And look, it's always a little small print. Now, you done, you, done, you done sent it in now. You done paid $8,000 for an $80 TV. <laughs> How many of you know timeshares, all that old mess? You ain't want nothing. Man, thank you, you want. Everybody in the neighborhood got that same envelope. <laughs> Everybody in the neighborhood got the same envelope. Tear that mess up. Uh, you ain't getting something for nothing. It's a trick. Amen. So she's talking, read. That the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, we shall not eat of it, neither shall we touch it, lest we die. And, and the serpent said, What did the serpent say? He said unto the woman, He shall not surely die. Lisa, there was every time to say, Honey. <laughs> He's at work right now. I'll get back with you. He's at work. Oh, I, I have his number. Okay. I have his number. I'll get back with you. Now, nah, he has to give a decision right now. No, uh, no, nah. you know, right now. Click. Watch this now. I need I need to talk to your husband. Uh, uh, and you are? I just said he knows no, you are. I'll tell click. <laughs> no, click. Mike just wanna see if you home. I ain't trying to scare you. Some of y'all from the south anyway. Y'all already scared, y'all right? Hang your clothes up. You ain't got nothing in your house but clothes on the floor. <laughs> but there's a devil after you. There's a devil after me. Amen. And he's confident. I told you how to pay last week for coming up with that. He's confident he getting you. <laughs> That's why you thank God for Tuesday in the sanctuary. Amen. So you know how to keep your... Don't 
get sucker punched. Everybody in your family ain't for you. And some of y'all, y'all, man, everybody ain't for you. People be trying to be my friends. I don't even know that many people in this city. I don't know why I got, you know, I just look at picture. If they know, if they know Angelique, I give them a break. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, no, I do. I always give people a picture. If you don't have no picture, oh, no, no, no. I got a whole list. It's like 200 some people. And then some people come back and say, there's a friend request you haven't answered yet. Well, that is an answer. <laughs> and then I pull a picture up and I end up drop some F-bombs or some old skank stuff. And I'd be like, oh, no. You know why? I'm a target. Hey, Amen. Why? Tell people the truth. Is this tell people the truth? Your target. Your target. Who else gonna pray for your grandkids and get a response? Amen. Look at Karen. Karen's prayer. Coco's intercession. And so far her daughter's alive tonight. They do another surgery. That's where she's at. She wanted to come. Huh? How many of y'all care for as a target? Watch it. All that time she was in that corner interceding for other people's kids. Didn't know her was going to get hit by a truck. She's a target. She gets on, she gets on a plane to D.C., get ready to go and gets hit head on. If she dies in that accident, Charday's dead this month. That ain't luck, people. Ain't that much luck in the world. He's a target. You got to know your target. You got to have a man or woman guy who really wants you to succeed. Amen. You got to have an oncologist that will cut you open and pull the cancerous cell so that it doesn't metastasize. All you got, you don't care about no scar. You don't want to die outside the will of God. You don't care about no scar. He ain't talking about all oh, they cut me. Amen. If he don't cut you, the first thing. Did you get it all? It was on the news before I came. The man said he went to the, to the army doctor and they said they didn't see nothing. They finally went to a real doctor and they said he had a mask sitting in his chest. Now it's too late. You can't sue the army doctor. <laughs> it is what it is, people. And it's going to get worse. That's why I didn't just go in and bless their house. I set them up for the future. This gonna happen. This gonna happen. Uh, that 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 girl is for real. She up there sitting on brandy. <laughs> most people get haughty. Most people got. Uh, most people God can't bless. If you give them a little anything, they just gone. A little balloon just take off. This little balloon just shh, gone. This child sitting on the corner. Let got a great husband, new home. He got promoted, man. He got a nasty pay raise coming. Huh? His wife, his wife, sitting on Brandy like he's Tinker. I said, baby, that that that's just who you are, but that ain't the world. You got some demons to fight. You got some regulating to do. You got some lives to save. You think a devil is gonna let you come up? He gonna fight you whether you fight him or not. Come on now. You know there's some bullies that got beat up. How many of those people that was a bully and finally somebody fought on and finally they couldn't fight anyway? Huh? I love the one where the, where the little white cheerleader was sitting out of her business. And old, old sister girl just knew she wasn't going to. And look, the girl's like, no, boy. She, was, she was sitting at the table. So I was going to swing on her. Mistake. <laughs> Becky had hands. <laughs> oh, it was a mistake. <laughs> Becky was sitting there, Diane. You trying to talk to her? 
My wife accused me of watching fights. She said, there you go again. Because I, because I, because I, there ain't nothing people I watch ghetto fights. I always look for the one where somebody started it. Like the girl talking about the KD, the tennis suit. Oh, look at that tennis suit. It's like, okay, I got a KD. <laughs> and, and, and look, girl just walking. She said something, all of a sudden the KD's all in the. <laughs> and the dude will say that. There go those KD's. <laughs> Where, where those KD is now? Huh? <laughs> then, then there's one, one more. It's one. There was, there was. I'll watch it all the time. It was in the locker room. And look at what the boy. Again. Little like he had his hand down like that. And here it comes to you. I can't even do it. Marcus, I can't even do it. He said, he lived just like that. Let me do it in slow motion. Do it like. I said, no, he's gonna get knocked out. Go ahead. All of a sudden, I'm saying yes. She had a friend. She gets some mouth on her. Yeah. Yeah, she, Cause you know she doesn't like she say something to her friend. If she say something, she. You know what her friend did? And she got dusted. Stupid. Dusted. That's all I'm Good thing it was her hair. Hey, man, because I usually watch the little fights with the hair all in the class. You know what friend did? Man, you got your black book. <laughs> What's the point? Say it again. They don't fight you. Put this away. If he ain't fighting you, he got you. You might as well kill him. In part, you might you might as well fight him. He fights you with fear, insecurity, self-doubt. He sends the people around you who don't want you to win, who you won't let go of. You'll tell your dream to somebody. You'll be on the cusp of greatness. <laughs> you might as well fight. They try to pull on you, on your mind. Because they never thought that God would bless you the way you bless. You got to catch them on their first look. I can't see that on track. You got to catch their first response. Then they I catch that first. Every day. That's why I get up at 345. It's a fight. You know, fight my kids. You fight me. Fight my wife. Fight my kids. 
My grandchild called on Zoe, had a little golf ball by her limp nose. I'm calling there, all kind of mind fights. You know, everybody human, you know, all kind of mind fights, this, this, that, whatever. I called Elo, man, Zoe had a field trip at school. <laughs> she ain't got no field, she done bounced up, boo boo. And I know I ain't by myself. He fought his mind, said that a girl like that don't exist, she going home with it. He fought this man, fought man. You don't need Walmart, you at Dubai spending money. You blessing me in Dubai. And they up there plotting on you. Huh? The plot fell. You can't take 80 stacks from no saint of God and God sits there, hey man, you got the right kind of what? Now who do you think that was? You were not bothering nobody. All you did was tell you was going to Dubai. Oh raggedy store. Then they try to sucker you and make you do it again. We got a, we got 12 years of slave. Come out here and straighten this store and you're gonna do it for 30,000 less. Why? Well, how's that the devil? Well now you're miserable. You know he work through your misery? Now you're miserable. You thirty thousand dollars less. You gonna bring that home? That gonna short change. Sean Trey, Jake, man, your wife, cause you're miserable. No, you took the risk implied by faith. I'm on the phone with you. I'm on the phone with you, man. They offered him to take a thirty thousand dollar pay cut. I'm on the phone with him on Monday. He played their game, cut them loose Thursday, well, Thursday or Friday, Friday, I'm buying a new car, me and him get blessed on the same day, so if he ever get blessed, you, you still holler at me because something coming up on me. I ain't studying y'all, coming anyway, all right? <laughs> he get blessed, he done took the exam, real estate, they try to offer him less than what he was making. He gets into a realm where there is no ceiling. Amen. Uh -huh. You fight fear. You fight doubt. You fight failure. You fight, uh-uh, not this time. Amen. I'm going to fight him. I'm not going to leave no potential in the grave. I'm going to fight him. Amen. I'm going to be what God called me to be. You don't swing anyway. He gonna swing. He said, Jesus and Luke, he said, I left them for a season. What that mean? I'm coming back. And you think crying and quitting, he wants you to quit. Then if you quit, he keep. Because <laughs> you might get revived. Man, it's, this is war. I ain't making this up. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and power. <laughs> you know man gave me that little pamphlet? He want to have speak. Well, I don't know. I think it was the mean jacket took his praise from I don't know. Could have been. Could have been. He just knew he was going up on a heathen. So I read a little pamphlet. And I didn't read all of it. Of course not. I read a part that let me know he didn't have full truth. So he got hubris over half truth. I think my, my little mink jacket took his place. I didn't know that animal died for me. <laughs> animal died. So I could wear it. <laughs> no, hey. That's something I'm sitting there going, ain't that something? And I was going to hand him, not no pamphlet, I was going to hand him a doctoral <laughs> on the power of the name of Jesus. I'm going to take him back down to the Cappadocian brothers in second, third century. He don't know that because my mink back ain't telling him I know that stuff. You know what God I said? I had it in my car like, oh, so you want to give me something? I'm going to give him something. Look, I said, mm-mm, give him nothing. He ain't ready for nobody no mean jacket with a hat. Not giving nothing. It's called the pride of life. The pride of half truth. Say, no, nah, give it to somebody that's hungry. How about that? Amen. Now, now, you know what's worse? You walk around with half truth 
you're going to bring a water gun to an AK-47 fight. You only get power in the upper room. You can't read about Jesus and get, be powerful. <laughs> Acts 1 and 8 is where your power comes from. Amen. That's why you in the upper room. Amen. And even if you're on the cusp and you feel and you're on the cusp, this girl on the cusp of a million dollar crazy deal. Super startup. You Because the day you get rich, you blessing people. Well, well, there you go. No, no, no. That day. We, 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 we come on, no, a 24 hour, let me pray on it. No list made out. That's a fight. I'm just throwing it out there. So that means that if you're on her list, and she, and she do, that, that ain't no joke. She got to know something. If you on the list, and you close on the 22nd, and they say, close on the 22nd, let me see if I know it. The first payment is January 1st, right? Is that right? They're close. But if you're on Lana's list, there is no first payment. So all, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Somebody said here, made yo, a third of your first statement. And you didn't come here with no boot with a shoe missing and <laughs> I done signed some paperwork and I don't, I don't know how we gonna pay for it. Don't talk to talk about me. Cause I ain't gonna let you finish your sentence. I don't, I can't hear that. Say, well, why, why wouldn't Satan fight you if you gonna be a blessing? So everybody extend the right hand to her because he's going to fight her. He's fighting her now. Because she's going to come from a crazy family. The minute they find out, they're all going to love her. No, 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 no. They're going to love her. We family. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't be blessed without no fighting. Even if you go to that church across the street get mad at me, it's still the same rule. They just set you up and get knocked out. <laughs> so they're going to tell you that. You're gonna be, it's going to be a fight. You're going to be a millionaire with a fight. Now fighting people don't be boxing their city trans off of, and world star. You want to help a boxing and living in the state. Everybody's camera got you. You done drug her, you done drug her down the street. Not that kind of fight. Now I watch those fights, but hey. <laughs> Everybody stand your right hand. She's going to keep her hands up. She's going to bob and weave. In case Satan throw a lucky punch and knock it down, she's coming right back up. Amen. All her life led up to this idea, this invention, this favor. That's what I mean when you go to a job and do a good job. Already she's faced jealousy and people who are not thorough like her. People hate you because you're thorough and they're not legged. Amen. Don't fight her. And we're going to help her fight the devil. Somebody's going to be praying for her. A Tamika will pray for her. A Erica will pray for her. A Vicky will pray. Huh? We don't gain nothing if she quit fighting. That's the reality of the three punches. That's why you ain't got time to be too with your brother and sister in Christ. You want them to win. Right. Amen. You want them to win. <laughs> now, Jay, I've been watching, I'm 63, I've been watching boxing for like 55 years. And so in the corner, I seen people get headbutt. People that was winning. And they kids clash and a, and a gash open up. And you know, after so many rounds, they go to the, the scorecard. And I mean, I see some crazy stuff. And then they went in the corner and they had a cut man. And they got that iron swell or whatever that stuff is. And he'll stop it. 
it gives them a gives them time. If you watch boxing, the, the referee go over there, they, they have the doctor check them. And sometimes it's so bad, the referee say, I'll give you one more round. One more round. Uh, you got one round. Oh, we got to stop it. And that cut man will apply that. It's in swell. It's well. It's well. And, 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 and close the wound. Right? So you want that, that devil swing on Lana. She get cut. Don't be coming to church talking about wearing Lana hair. I see, I knew. Every time Bishop make over somebody, see, I, we don't want you here anyway. If I make over somebody, that's when you go to prayer. Amen. Anything you talking about, every time you make over, because you know what? Because you know what? You're right. Every time I do make over somebody, the fire get hotter. Ask Candace. It does. That's a given. I call your name too many times. Demons look at you. But they don't call my name. What kind of life is that? What kind of life is that then? That means you're a window shopper. You ain't never went in and got nothing. I just train you to keep, get, get used to the fight. <laughs> and, and, and when he ain't fighting you, he always fight. But when he ain't really, you know, really turning it up, you still don't drop your hands. I got a member here, her sister is for real bad. You couldn't even guess who it is. She's for real bad. The one of the girls that jumped her, jumped her, three girls jumped her. She still spiked them. So she got ambushed and spiked them. She spiked one girl three times. She can't spike her no more because she's dead. <laughs> she didn't kill her. She, <laughs> but she ambushed her. <laughs> and got dusted. Amen. That's a testimony. He ambushed your finances. Mm, he's still going for it. <laughs> and but very first you thought was going to be for you, like, uh-uh, don't give it that. You don't care. You don't throw the ideal away. You don't go back to your past like, I'm done with that. Amen. I'm in it to win it now. Amen. Who else? I want you to be able to take an ambush. Does that make sense? An ambush. Swung on unexpectedly. A sickness or illness, just like people, you still roll with it. Mayweather got slapped by Sean, second round. What the boy put hands on Mayweather? Sean Mosey, Shane Mosey. Like I ain't never seen Mayweather get hit like that. Hit him. Like Mayweather hurt. You know, Shane Mosey had hands. <laughs> Anybody else? Come out the corner, you know, let him know you got hit. Not nah, get that boy mercy. Bugattis, rolls, whatever. That boy got that stuff because he's bad, y'all. As far as the natural, he went right back in the center of the ring. Saying like, I know I hit him. He did. But you just woke him up. Oh, who am I talking to? Who took a hit today? I ain't going nowhere. You woke me up. I want to win more than you want to defeat me. I want who here want to win? I'm in here to win, man. I ain't here to come to no church. I come to no church. You got time to be no. Oh no, no church member? Yeah, a dime a dozen. The man that marries you gets a woman of God with fight. Sweet, but I'll swing on the devil. Your wife a thug. All the people try to take advantage of you because of a heart. It's over. Those green eyes will cut you, man. <laughs> her family, she don't care nothing about her. Nothing. They didn't walk her down the aisle. She don't care. Where they at? Where, now we know where they at. She's a more, getting more for more.
Logan Robinson did a song about y'all called More Love. You're going to marry, marry a fighter. No, no, not, not, no. Not somebody going to fight you. Now you all scratched up. I will come and sell this house as soon as I get rid of this hostage situation. <laughs> I, can't, I can't leave. <laughs> you won't let me out the door. Amen. <laughs> Young, but ain't nothing to roll up on you. Why? You'll see it. You'll see her in action. Star, you legendary. I heard about you in kickball. You ain't no joke, ball. I said kickball. Amen. Any questions? Three, three punches? You ready for the fight? You ready for the fight? See that, see that great woman down there teaching us why? Different style. She's straight warrior. You can't keep your sanity and go through what she's been through. That's straight warrior. Ain't that better than a bunch of bumper stickers? And some hoodies that don't mean nothing? Huh. Warrior is what you do with what life presents you. Anybody can quit. I mean, I don't feel like quitting. All of us. But I got something to live for. Man, when I wake up, I got something to live for. Amen. Seven years, I'll be 70 years old. I saw myself hold little CJ's hand. He's seven. Okay, God, you got to give me 10 more. 17. Which car you want? They all be classics then. Hey, Amen. What you, what you waking up for? I sure ain't waking up to do nobody in. The jealous of somebody. I'm going to stop somebody. They, 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 they gain. Ain't nobody gaining on me. There's only one of me in the world. I'm, and he's talking. I don't live like that. Every head bow. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Something was said. We thank you.